Sorry, your wife let me in. She's not my wife. She's my ex-wife. I assume it's Mia you're after. Mia! Oh. Hi. You all right? What's that for? To put on your head and take you out for dinner. Are you? I thought I said I'd let you know. Yeah, well, I sort of decided for you. Feeling cocky, are you? Have a good time. See ya. Be careful. Smart kid. Is he? They say his last girlfriend had millions in the bank and now he's working his charms on Mia. Not bad for someone who shovels muck for a living. How exactly is it? Leave me alone. Don't be a spoil sport. Hi. It was a long lunch. How many courses was that? Do you mind if we join you? Oh, you were just about to get in, were you? OK, I'll have a G&T and it's a large single malt for Declan. And do they do cocktails here? Uh, and we're just teasing. Come on, sit yourself down and tell us what you want. I'll have a white wine and he'll have an orange juice, please. Cheers. Unless, of course, you want to get them in and I'll stay and quiz him about his intentions. Mum, it is possible to have male friends, you know. OK, back in a minute. Don't worry, the novelty will wear off, trust me. She's just fishing to find out what the deal is with us, that's all. So, what is the deal with us? Well, we have a laugh, right? I was wrong. Farm boy's out of his depth. Luckily, not every relationship is about trying to outsmart someone. Oh, poor naive Declan. Um, by the way, they want um, an orange juice and a glass of white wine. Oh, they'd make a lovely couple. Yeah, he's all right. She takes after her mother. He has my sympathy. Only I'm better. 